Hey y'all and welcome to day six of our 12 days of tutorials and giveaways. Most of you already are by now since we're halfway through, but if you aren't part of our Brittany Barnes Boutique Tumblr art group, make sure that you do join so that you can enter to win one of those amazing prizes, including some that I'm giving away myself, including custom tumblers. So let's jump right in. I am using another one of the ornament shape trays that I grabbed from Target in their dollar section. I got quite a bit of comments saying that these were no longer available or that some Targets and areas hadn't even seen them at all. So places that you can get some really awesome wooden trays are Michael's. They actually had some Christmas tree shaped trays. Um, so Michael's, Hobby Lobby of course. Places like TJ Maxx, Home Goods, Marshalls, those places will have sort of like random selection things, but you can find some really unique trays there that I have grabbed myself on multiple occasions. And you can usually get them for really, really good prices. So I am taking my Color Fix Color Flex paint. It is a three in one paint, primer, and adhesive. It works really, really well on top of trays like this that are stained and probably have some sort of oil sealer on them. You don't have to sand or clean anything. You just put this paint right on. It seals all of that in for you and it doesn't cause any sort of issue with your epoxy. So I used white to paint the majority of the board and then we're going to go in with warm gray and sky to create that really grayish colored blue sky that you see whenever it snows. I'm sorry for the obnoxiously distracting band-aid. We have a six-year-old, so of course any bandages that we have in our house have to be neon or Paw Patrol, and I pick the best of the two, okay? And you shouldn't play with knives. <laughs> so all I'm doing is going in with a smaller makeup brush I am blending those colors in together and then going around the edge of the board just to fine tune that edge and make it look crisper and clean because we are going to be adding our glitter into our epoxy instead of putting it directly on the board this time. After I finished this layer, I did dry it with my heat gun on a low setting, and then I went in with just a little bit more of that grayish blue up at the top so we can have more of that sky effect. So we're going to be using 60 milliliters of Artistry's one-to-one -one ratio facet epoxy. I used facet epoxy in my previous tray video as well. So I wanted to show you my mixing process and how quickly I do apply it to my board. So I have two cups, one with part A and one with part B, or at least that's what I thought it was. I will tell you my mistake here in a couple minutes, but I take my part A and part B and as I am pouring them into the cup, I just took my heat gun and allowed a little bit of that heat to go inside of my smaller cups. This actually helps the epoxy release from the sides of the cups and you get every last drip out of them instead of leaving some residue behind, which can cause your ratio to be off. For our glitters, we are using Firefly in both the 0.015 cut and 0.008 cut. The reason I am using both is so that it gives a little bit more depth and since we are mixing the glitter into our epoxy, the finer glitter will really fill in any of those gaps that you might have with the larger cut of glitter. I just mix that up into my epoxy and then I'm going to spread it all over the board. And then once I have it pretty close to all the edges, a good way to help your epoxy sort of flow around your sides instead of having to push it up on the sides is to take your heat gun and go around the edges of the board again on low heat setting you don't want to overheat your epoxy and then you can sort of push that epoxy up on the edge and around the board and it will help give a really nice pretty seal that you don't have any of those little divots in 
Okay, so I told you I was going to tell you what I did wrong in my mixing process. So I was working on multiple projects. I had already mixed 15 and 15 of part A and B in a cup. And then I had 30 of part A and 30 in part B in those two separate smaller cups so that we can combine them together to do this tray. Well, I had intended, of course, on using the already mixed epoxy for the tumblers first, but my brain failed me and I went straight in to doing this board for whatever reason. And I took the already mixed epoxy and mixed it with part B. So the ratio was completely off. And what I did to get that epoxy out of this board is I scraped out as much as I possibly could. And then I grabbed my sticky situation, which is hand scrub from Artistry Epoxy. I put a glove on my hand, threw a little bit of that on the board and scrubbed it in. And y'all, it took every last bit of that epoxy out. You know how hard it is to scrub up epoxy that is not mixed correctly or just a little bit of part A or part B somewhere. It's so difficult to get it up without having to get some sort of cleaning solution or break out your alcohol which is not good for your hands and the sticky situation scrub took all of that residue off of my board as you can see it looks just like it did before I realized my mistake and had to do over so I wish I would have showed cleaning it up on camera but I did not know what to expect because I actually have not come across that before. That is the first time that I have mixed my epoxy incorrectly. And now the sticky situation has some things in it to help soften your hands and make them feel nice after you scrub any of the paints or whatever off. So I did take a little bit of Dawn dish soap and run that over it just to remove any of those things that might have been in sticky situation that could have repelled our epoxy. All right, so back to the tutorial. I was just excited to share how I cleaned up this board so easily and was able to save it. So we are using one of the packs that come in the Brittany Barnes Holiday Collection with Southern Bell Glitter. You can find these by going to southernbellglitter.com and just simply scrolling down and finding the Brittany Barnes Boutique Holiday Collection or you can go to transfers in that left menu and you will also find them there. It comes with all of these gorgeous florals and winter scenes and super awesome price <laughs> plus you can use Brittany 10 for 10% off. And again there are are still a few in stock but there are more on the way because these are not just for Christmas but they are absolutely beautiful for winter and there's even some pretty pinks in there for Valentine's Day coming up. I just trimmed out the ones that I wanted to use for our tray and sort of laid them out so I can map out where I want to place them. These can be used once and one time only, so you do want to make sure that you have it mapped out before you stick them down to whatever project that you're working on. I used to say that you had to sand them off, but I have found if you use a little bit of rubbing alcohol and then you go over it with Goo Gone. Goo Gone I have in my home <laughs> all the time. If I run out, I immediately go to the store and buy some more because Goo Gone works on tons of stuff, especially when you have kids. But if you do make a mistake with the rub-on transfers, you can just rub it over with some alcohol to help release some of the glues and stuff that are behind there, and then go over with that Goo Gone, and it will remove all of that gluey residue that is left on your project without damaging the surface. So then you don't have to put another layer of epoxy before you add on another transfer. Goo Gone does leave a very oily residue behind, so you will have to take some Dawn dish soap and go back over your project to clean that up so your epoxy will not repel, but it works like a charm. Now, normally whenever I'm using rub-on transfers, especially if they are on a tumbler, I do say to always seal them with a very, very thin coat of a matte clear spray paint. Since we are using a thick coat of epoxy on top of this to cover the board entirely, we will not have to seal these. 
This would be a beautiful design on a tumbler, and I actually originally planned to use them on a tumbler. So if you do use that on anything other than a board where you are going to use a thicker coat of epoxy, definitely seal them with a matte clear spray paint before you go in with your epoxy. Now before we go in with epoxy on this one, I'm going to dab some little snowflakes on top of the board as well as a couple overlaid on our transfers. I put a lot of paint to the side and it was completely unnecessary, but I did end up using it on a tumbler. So no worries, no paint was lost. I allowed my paint to dry completely and then I could go in with my final coat. I did use the Artistry 1 to 1 Ratio Facet Epoxy once again to do the final coat on this board. I only used 40 milliliters for the final coat where I used 60 milliliters to do our initial glitter coverage. I used my little squeegee tool to spread out that epoxy and push it up onto the edges as well, just not over the edge. And then I went over with my torch to pop any micro bubbles that might be there. After that dried completely, which takes about two to three hours depending on your environment with the artistry one-to-one -one ratio facet epoxy, this one was complete. I really love how it turned out. I feel like this is a very easy and simple project and it would be a really awesome thing to have in shop ready to ship for Christmas gifts. As always, all of the materials that we have used in this tutorial will be listed down in the description below as well as some coupon codes for you. Don't forget to join our Facebook group so that you can enter to win our daily 12 days of Christmas giveaways. We are picking a winner every single day. Hit that subscribe button and the little bell in the corner to be notified anytime a new tutorial drops. Thank you all so much and we will see you next time.